Hey. Hey, hi. Welcome to the Natasha and Debbie show. Hello. That's brutal. Just, just two patriotic girls. So please don't take us the wrong way. Hi. Hey, everybody. Welcome to Magic Monday. A very special Magic Monday. That's right. Today we're going to go to Australia. And sadly, we realized that we have no Australian gear for this video. Hmm. But we did our best. Yeah, we tried we, to color coordinate. We tried to kind of be a... Trying to be a flag. But... Yeah. Not quite working. <laughs> um, but we're, we're really excited about this today. This is something we've wanted to do for a long time. Take a look at Australia. We know we have um, quite a few Australian subscribers and viewers. Mm -hmm. Hi to all of you. Hello. And hopefully new ones as well. Um, we're really excited today about learning about um, your country, seeing some of it, seeing some of the places to visit. Mm -hmm. And um, we haven't seen other than movies and things like that. Uh, but before we get into that, uh, really quickly, if you like the content we put out, please hit the like button and consider subscribing to the channel. Why is that, Debbie? Yes, it's the best way to show that you like the content we put out there to support us. And it's free. And it's free. That's the best part. <laughs> so um, this video today is supposed to be the ultimate travel guide. Yeah. Australia, best places to visit and top attractions. Hopefully it will show us quite a bit, but we know that no video is going to show us everything there is to see. No, unfortunately. But hopefully we'll get a good taste of what Australia has to offer. Yeah. Now, of course, we know Sydney. Mm -hmm. um, we don't know it. <laughs> We're not Everybody's like, seen pictures. Yeah, we've seen videos. some pictures of the Opera House, of course. We've yes. seen things like that. Um, I, it's all, I can't pronounce things right. Pro I, I apologize for that. I don't know if it's... I, I know you guys pronounce it different, not Melbourne, but that's how we say it in America. Mm -hmm. So my apologies. Heard of that. Know a little bit about that. Um, Great Barrier Reef, we've heard of and seen some photos of that too. And I know this video is going to show those things. So I know that for a fact. So we, again, we don't pre-watch the videos, but we try to find stuff that will show us as much of a variety of the places we look into as possible. Yeah. But in the comments after the video, please let us know other places to check out within Australia that isn't shown in this video. Mm -hmm. And um, we'll see what else is shown in here that we don't know. And hopefully some information too. So we're really excited to check out Australia, and we hope that you are too. Um, join us on this little quick journey, and um, let's take a let's, look let's, at Australia. Let's go take a look. The land of dreams. Yeah, I would say the well, world's hello. smallest continent and largest island. This vast country is vibrant, multicultural, and full of spectacular scenery. Already in love. Welcome to Australia. I want to hear that in real life. <laughs> right. <laughs> Join us as we discover the land down under. MISC Travel Guide brings you the ultimate travel guide to Australia. Wow, that's beautiful. More than most other developed countries, Australia seizes the imagination. <laughs> for most visitors, its name is shorthand for an endless summer where the living is easy. A place where the adventures are as vast as the horizons and the jokes flow as freely as the beer. A country of can-do spirit and easy friendliness. Wow. No wonder Australians call theirs the lucky country. I can see why already. Australia is a land of staggering mm -hmm. contrasts and spectacular beauty. Along the coast, you can explore vibrant multicultural cities, vast sand islands, ancient rainforests, and one of the planet's most awe-inspiring natural wonders, Barry, Barry. the Great Barrier Reef. I'd love to see that someday. In the outback, rugged national parks and red earth deserts offer the ultimate in adventure travel. Lord. Top it all off with a laid back feel and friendly people. And it's no wonder Australia scores top billing on bucket lists around the world. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Agreed. Sydney Opera House. Mention Sydney, Australia, and most people think of the Opera House. Shaped like huge yeah, shells or billowing sails, mm -hmm. this famous building on Sydney's Benelong Point graces the list of UNESCO World Heritage Sites and is one of the world's greatest architectural icons. Yes. Stunning. Designed by Danish architect Jorn Utzen, this World Heritage listed building is Australia's Whoa. most famous landmark. Cause it's awesome. A 2004 renovation added walls of glass to the reception hall, offering visitors views of the harbor. In addition to the 1,500 seat <clears throat> opera house, the center features a concert hall and three other theaters as well as multiple bars and restaurants. Did not know that. Wow. 
You know, anyway. The Sydney yeah. Opera House welcomes millions of visitors from all over the world every year. I believe that. That's so pretty right there. Good lord. That is gorgeous. Hello, Sydney. Sydney Harbor Bridge. Yep. The iconic Sydney Harbor Bridge is both the main method of crossing the harbor and a travel destination for adventurous visitors. Huh. Rising 134 meters above the harbor, the bridge spans 500 meters, connecting Sydney's North Shore to the Central Business District. Okay. It was completed in 1932, 40 years before the Sydney Opera House. Oh, really? Affectionately called the Coat Hanger, this impressive feat of construction is one of the largest steel arc bridges in the world. Really? Wow. Didn't know that. I'm learning a lot one already. Of the top things to do in Sydney is a guided ascent to the top of the bridge where you can enjoy spectacular views over the harbor and city. We'll pass on that one. <laughs> Debbie's got something to say about that. <laughs> she loves heights. I guess now seeing it, I remember seeing it in a movie or something that people were up there, but... Yeah, I don't think I was. I know it. where I saw it at. Oprah. Was it on Oprah? Yes. Did she, she walked Remember up there. Yeah. She took a whole audience up yeah, there. I think so. Like forever ago. That, that's just that's right. Insane. Then you said that. I'm like, I didn't never see that. Then yeah. I'm like, hey, yes, I did. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah. But no, that's thank you. Crazy. We're good. We're good. Um, and it still fascinates me how they can build a bridge this huge in like 1932 before they had all like the machinery and stuff. Yeah. It just. Boggles my mind still. It's beautiful. This is absolutely stunning. Um, Australia, it's it's so, I think especially for Americans, and I know plenty of friends that have been, um, but it's one of those places that's so unattainable because it is so far away. Yeah. Um, but at the same time, so many people want to go there. I definitely have always mm -hmm. wanted to. I know you have too. Yeah. This is stunning. I mean, this is our first look at it, other than, like I said in the beginning, just watching movies and seeing stuff that way. Right. Um, but uh, yeah, this is, this is great already. I'm excited to see what else they got. Yeah. This area of those is beautiful, Sydney. That water. Great Ocean Road. Well, hello, Great Ocean Road. Yeah. Most top tourist destinations have spectacular driving routes, and for Australia, one of its Whoa. best is the Great Ocean Road. <laughs> I can see why. It's Australian National Heritage listed. The road stretches for 300 kilometers along Australia's southeast coast that between is... the Victorian cities of Torquay and Allensford. Mm -hmm. Yes, please. Winding through varying terrain along the coast and providing access to several prominent landmarks, including the Twelve Apostles limestone stack formations, huh. the road is an important tourist attraction in the region. Never heard of it. Never seen it. No. Ah, oh, it's so beautiful. Built by returned soldiers between 1919 and 1932 and dedicated to soldiers killed during World War I, okay. the road is the world's largest war memorial. <gasps> Shut up! That makes it even more amazing. Shut up! I'm in love with this place. The world's yeah. largest war memorial. Had no idea! No. And look at that where I paused it. Holy I know. Crap. I would love to drive this with you. Heck yeah. I wouldn't drive it. Is I'd be the passenger. Um, you yeah, had a convertible. Um, Motorcycle? look at this. <laughs> look at this though. Look at the, look at the grass. Look how beautifully green that is. And then look how beautiful that water is. Mm -hmm. And then you got the cliffs and stuff. Oh my gosh. Australia. Hi. How you doing? Yeah. Stunning. Wow. Um, I, I didn't know. This is amazing. Yeah. This is absolutely amazing. I'm the great ocean road. I, wow. Okay. Okay. I'm just like kind of a little bit. Tongue tied on this one you because are. well you got we love our military, we love our allies, and mm -hmm. that's just awesome. You know, I had no idea that that was the world's largest war memorial right. was in Australia, and it was the Great Ocean Road. Yeah. So this is just really neat. How beautiful! Our hats off to, to you guys for mm -hmm. sure. Yeah. Melbourne City. So I've never seen it though. Heard about it. Australia's second largest city is a popular stop on many Australian cool. itineraries, especially for culture vultures. Galleries, oh. theaters, restaurants, shops, and its distinctly European feel are the main draws of this sophisticated city on the Yarra River. 
It's also a green city, with parks, gardens, and open spaces occupying almost a third of its total area. That's an amazing nice. shot right there. Highlights of the city wow. include the Royal Botanic Gardens, the National Gallery of Victoria, and the Melbourne Cricket Stadium. Okay. Cricket popular too. Stylish, yeah. artsy Melbourne is both dynamic wow. and cosmopolitan, and it's proud of its place as Australia's sporting and cultural capital. Okay. Didn't know? That's beautiful. I like it at night with the lights on. Yeah. Blue Mountains National Park. Oh my lord. Oh heck yeah. <laughs> Rose like, yep. A UNESCO World Heritage Site, beautiful wow. Blue Mountains National Park lies 81 kilometers west of Sydney and is a popular day trip from the city. Okay. Mm. Named for the blue haze emanating from the many eucalyptus trees, this stunning park protects more than 664,000 acres of wilderness wow. and encompasses dramatic gorges, waterfalls, aboriginal rock paintings, yes, and 140 kilometers of hiking trails. The really? most famous attractions in the park are the towering sandstone rock formations called the Three Sisters. Hiking, abseiling, rock climbing, mountain biking, and horseback riding are all popular things to do in the park. Got it all. Holy crap, Australia! Everybody's been holding out on us. Uh, yeah. No one told us about this. <laughs> um, that look at that view right there. It's like a rainforest. Stunning. It's like everything. You got it, everything. It does seem to have everything. What are the temperatures there? In Fahrenheit, please help us. Mm -hmm. Um, but no, I don't know if they are, like, around the, like, year-round. Is it always warm? Sorry, I don't know. I don't. I mean, yeah, it can't I always be warm, but mostly warm, I would say, most of the time. I would think right. mostly. Um, I mean, when is the winter? I'm assuming it's around the time that's our summer. I'm guessing because I know a little bit about New Zealand's weather. And the opposite. They're yeah. not terribly far from each other, but they're not terribly close either. Right. So, what is the average in the summer? And when is summer? And when is summer? <laughs> and um, <laughs> what is the coldest it gets in the winter? Uh, I'm just curious. Mm -hmm. um, again, I know this is probably a lot more touristy, but again, we wanted just a generalized video just to give us some ideas first. But we're learning a lot here, and this is oh. amazing. And let us know, again, if you visited, if you live in any of these places, please say hi. Let us know, because this is stunning. This is just... It's gorgeous. It's, I, I mean, I'm running out of adjectives to use. I know, it's hard. <laughs> Yes. Great okay, Barrier good. Reef. That's something we look at this one. Visible from outer space, the World Heritage listed Great Barrier Reef is one of the largest living structures yeah. on the planet. Which is insane. In 1975, the Great Barrier Reef Marine Park was established to protect its fragile ecosystems, Didn't which it? include more than 3,000 coral reefs, 600 continental islands, including <laughs> the beautiful Whit Sunday Group. 300 coral caves and inshore mangrove islands. Wow. So One of the lucky. seven wonders of the natural world, the park stretches for 2,300 kilometers along the state of Queensland on Australia's east coast. I knew that. <laughs> That, is like, that looks like The Hawaii. astounding array of marine life includes wow. soft and hard corals, more than 1,600 species of tropical fish, sharks, dugongs, dolphins, turtles, rays, and giant clams. Wow, look at that. Amazing. And that's the thing, too, like that we have a little bit more in common with Australia than even the United Kingdom, and that's the fact that um, you got some deadly stuff over there. As do we. Uh huh. Um, so, and I got the, the, the spiders and things like that, and some snakes and uh, sharks. Know, sharks. Um, but yeah, there's a lot more uh, dangers in the, the wilderness part of it, I guess. Yeah. Um, but the Great Barrier Reef is, I don't know much about it. Um, you know, I, I had one friend that actually got to go. I'm jealous. It would um, be cool to go out there and go oh, like that'd um, be amazing. scuba diving. That would yeah, be cool. it would be amazing. Wow. Oh. That's beautiful. Kangaroo Island. Heard of it? That's Nature it. takes center stage at beautiful Kangaroo Island off the Flareu mm. Peninsula in South Australia. Wow. Australia's third largest island, Kangaroo Island is the perfect place to view the country's wildlife up close. More than a third of the island oh, yeah. is a national park where thousands of wallabies, koalas, and kangaroos oh, roam I love free. koalas. 
That's so cool. With its windswept cliffs and spectacular wow. rock formations, the island's landscapes are just as impressive. Easily accessible from Adelaide in South Australia, Kangaroo Island is a can't-miss destination for me. I gotta say what I say every now and then. When something's really, really beautiful to me, that is stupid pretty. Mm -hmm. <laughs> that is so beautiful, it's stupid. It is. It's just so beautiful. The water has got that, you know, different colors to it, like the turquoise here and then the super blue. Yeah. Oh my gosh, that's the kind of stuff that I just want to jump in there and wrestle a shark. <laughs> Nature lovers everywhere. Fraser Island. Never heard of you. Wow. That's Saint. Wow. World Heritage listed Fraser Island between Bundaberg and Brisbane off Australia's east coast is the largest sand island in the world and one of Australia's top outdoor adventures. That is insane. Especially for four-wheel drive That's enthusiasts. Fun. Look at that, those like snow Fraser is so Fraser Island stretches over 123 kilometers <laughs> in length and 22 kilometers at its widest point. With an area of 184,000 hectares, it is the largest sand island in the world. Jeez. Fraser Island is a place of exceptional beauty with its long, uninterrupted white beaches flanked by strikingly colored sand <laughs> cliffs and over 100 freshwater lakes, some tea-colored and others clear and blue, all ringed by white, sandy beaches. Wow. <coughs> Bondi Beach. Bondi Beach. <clears throat> Bronzed bodies, blonde sand, backpackers, and surf, throw it all together and you get one of the world's most famous beaches. Located just minutes away from Sydney's central business district, Bondi Beach is a mile-long sweep of golden sand lined with red tile roofed homes, apartments, and green spaces. Whoa, that's beautiful. It's really interesting how each area they're showing looks different. Uh, yeah. some, are, some are just sandy. This one seems to have rocky cliffs area and, and sand. The um, this one got all of it. Yeah. yeah, it's just really interesting how different parts of the island look. Yeah, so different. I know he's staying more towards Sydney. I, I, I've noticed that, but still, mm -hmm. even in that vicinity, it is quite diverse, and that's something that I think is absolutely gorgeous. And just, yeah, I'm, I can't. Yeah, it's all beautiful. <laughs> yeah, I want to keep smiling because I'm just like, wow. <laughs> it is all um, beautiful. The fact that we haven't looked at this before now is kind of upsetting, mm -hmm. actually, to me. <laughs> I'm a little annoyed <laughs> with us. Like, why didn't we do this sooner? Um, but this is amazing. It's also a great spot for a seaside stroll or picnic, and crowds of tourists and locals gather here to celebrate Christmas and ring in the new year. Really? I want to do that. A great way to soak up the sea views is to stroll along the scenic Bondi to Bronte Coastal Walk, which begins at the southern end of the beach and follows the coastline for six kilometers along sandstone cliffs. Okay. Sign me up. You doing on a go kart? <laughs> Holy Uluru crap! Katajuta National Park. I can't pronounce. I'm not gonna try. Good Deep Lord. in the heart of Australia's red center, Uluru, formerly Ayers Rock, is one of the most photographed natural wow. wonders in the country. What the? That's a rock? The striking red monolith forms the centerpiece of Uluru Katajuta National Park, a world heritage area jointly managed by Parks Australia and the traditional landowners, the Ananu people. Oh my wow. gosh, what look at that! that. So that does remind me of some places out west here in America. Yeah. I'm seeing some places that things I love the most about America. I'm seeing a lot of that here too. Uh huh. Similarities, not yeah, identical similar. by any means. Um, but things I love about, you know, our diverse country and as far as it's, um, you know, natural aesthetics. Right. And, um, different climates and things. Like I'm seeing a lot of that here that I love so much. And mm -hmm. it's just insanely gorgeous. And that is nuts. That is nuts. That's nuts. I mean, look at the orange, orange of that rock and then the, the sky. It's just past I don't know why I've never heard Beautiful. of this one, and I'd love to try to pronounce that, but it ain't happening. <laughs> yeah. okay. Nope. Wow. Uluru, meaning shadowy place in the local Aboriginal okay. dialect, rises to a height of 348 meters from the surrounding plain, with okay. most of its bulk hidden beneath the Earth's oh. surface. Okay. Also in the park are the red dome shaped rocks called Katajuta. Katajuta. Wow, that right? look As the that. sun dips in the sky, sightseers gather to watch the colors of Uluru and Katajuta transform in the shifting light. 
A great way to appreciate these sacred sites is to join a tour led by Aboriginal guides and rangers. Yes, please. Jeez, guys. Thanks for watching. No! Oh, That's come on. Our list of the top attractions in. Well, that was quick and abrupt and not fair. That was um, quick. Did that? Did you see those stars? Yes, I did. Yeah, I think you did. I would love to see those stars in person. Oh my god, I want to camp outside with a you know tent, obviously. Where was I going with this? I don't know. I don't know. Um, and look up and to see that and like. You know, be, mm -hmm. oh my goodness, it is so beautiful. <laughs> that is just amazing. And again, we know that this was just a a, a, a little taste. drop, a drop of yes. water to just yes. barely wet the tongue. Yeah. But to get us that first start into looking into more, if you want us to, now let us know, please, please. And if you like the video, please hit the like button and consider subscribing to the channel. Um, but hello again to all the Australian yeah. uh, people out there. Um, say hi to us. Let us know what you thought yeah, of the let video. Let us know what part of Australia you're watching from so that we can say hi back to you. Yeah. And what parts to check out? Because now is what I want to ask you guys, the mm -hmm. big questions. So again, I, I pretty much assumed they'd probably do a touristy stuff. And, um, but there was several places we never heard of and really hadn't looked at any of it mm -hmm. much. Um, still, where are the places to look? Where are the places that you're like, okay, yeah, we know these places are going to be shown in every travel video or whatever. Right. Where are the places that, you know, aren't as touristy? That or, they miss. Yeah. The other stuff. Like, cause we know that that's not it. We know there's so mm -hmm. much more. Um, and we want to see more. You let us know if you want us to see more. So we'll base that off, off you guys. Um, I can't pick a favorite one in that at all, but the ending though, with the place I can't pronounce, mm. that was stunning. Mine would be the big beachy place. Uh, Bondi Beach? Yeah, Bondi Beach. Okay. Sorry, thank you. <laughs> um, yeah, I guess the, I actually thought it would be um, Melbourne because of all the, like, it just looked more like more contemporary for you. And she's more of a city girl. I want to go four wheel driving on that sand. I do too. On um, so which one was that? That was was that Kangaroo Island? No, no, no. Sorry, Fraser Island. Yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. That would be fun. That was just stunning. That I did seeing how beautifully white that sand is. Yes, and the water's so clear. Oh, I could be out there. Um, I could live there. Can people <laughs> live there? Because I know they said most of that was protected or um was a national park. Yeah. I so I was that. wondering about that when they were saying that like. I didn't, you know, know if people can, if people also live there, let us know. And um, if people are allowed to, I'd like to volunteer to go. <laughs> Definitely love. There's a lot there to love. And again, please let us know if there, if there's someplace else in Australia that you want us to take a better look at. Yeah. Let us know if you want us to do more Australia, because we'll do it if you want us to. So speak up. <laughs> We'd love to know. That was so fun for us. Thank you guys so much. I hope you enjoyed this episode. Um, we will be back on Wednesday as usual. Mm -hmm. And, um, I just, that was, I'm going to have a lot, we're gonna have a lot of conversation now after this. Yeah, we are. Yeah. Um, but, uh, thank you guys seriously. And, um, as always love like jazz. Be as strong as Tyson. Bye guys. Bye.